back now at 7.42 with an alert for parents about the hazards of some common blinds you may have hanging in your home. Hundreds of children have been injured or killed after being strangled by the cords of the blinds. ABC's Brian Ross has that story. The Waller family of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. All nine of them. Say bye bye. They love to make videos of everything they do. Lots of laughs and happy moments. But for 17 year old Gavin Waller and his parents, there's one video that stands out. Taking them back to a time when Gavin was a toddler and almost died in an all too common at home accident. Can you feed the baby some cereal? Gavin's mother, Nikki, was making a video of two of her other children, her twins. She is about to swing the camera around to catch a horrifying image of Gavin that we're going to show only because it has a happy ending. Gavin! 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 Gavin hanging by the neck from the pull cords on a set of window blinds, silently strangling. I somehow got Gavin off the window blinds but I don't actually remember lifting him off. Gavin was left with a welt across his neck, but that was all. Big cross. Regular cross. Yeah. Today, he is a senior in high school. I'm glad that it's out there and that it saved the lives of other children that have been fortunate to have parents who have seen that video. But unfortunately, since the day of Gavin's accident almost 14 years ago, the Consumer Product Safety Commission estimates well over 100 American children have died somehow caught in window blind cords. Brian, I see decades, and I'm talking decades, about children once a month getting hanged to death by these products, and it's gotta stop. These are many different types of samples. Elliot Kay, the chairman of the Consumer Product Safety Commission, says cordless versions like this set solve the problem. Look at that, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. But right. that the industry continues to make and sell the more dangerous sets with cords. I think it's disgusting, I really do. Executives of the big three American companies that sell window blinds would not agree to appear in our report. Mr. Vasani, Brian Ross, Navy Senior. Nor would the head of the window blind trade group, Ralph Vasani. Want to ask you some questions about the children who have died in the window blind accidents? Can you talk about that at all, sir? No. The industry says it has introduced a range of safety features that have reduced the number of deaths, as seen in this industry video. But it says the most important step is not to ban blinds with cords, but to educate parents that blinds with cords should not be in homes with children. Yet working with ABC affiliates across the country who went shopping for window blinds, we found that message is not getting through in many places. When you have the cord, you can just tie it. In some cases, store employees were helpful. That's why cordless is a really good option when you have tops. But in many others, Employees did not seem to have been very well trained about the danger of corded window blinds. Is there a safety issue or anything like that? In the last few weeks, IKEA and Target have both taken all window blinds with cords off their shelves and now only sell cordless blinds. Walmart, Home Depot, and Lowe's say they'll do the same thing by the end of 2018. And hopefully others will follow six even more. All right, Brian, thank you.